Hi, good morning friends. Once again, it's a joy to meet you this morning. Truly, the grace and mercies of the Lord is new for us every morning. And even this morning, I would like to greet you and encourage you in the name of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. As we endure through this uh, beautiful yet another day in confinement. Friends, um, what I hear commonly now at this point of time is boredom. Everyone tells me that uh, we are too bored. Pastor, we do not know what to do. Uh, we just don't know how to spend the time. And uh, well, it's, it's, it's very true. Uh, being confined 24-7 uh, can be very boring. Not being able to uh, get our outdoor activities done can be very boring. But uh, let's look at it from a, uh, in a different perspective altogether. I would encourage you to take this time to see it from God's perspective. What do I mean by God's perspective altogether? Let me just draw our attention to our meditation this morning. That is from Luke chapter 10, verse 38 to verse 42. Friends, we all know this story very well, the story of Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha, Lazarus' sisters. Lazarus' family was a family which was very close to the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. He often visited them. In Bethany, there was a home where he uh, visits whenever he goes uh, through, stays on with them. And friends, uh, there comes an incident where Jesus visits the home. And as usual, having a guest at home, Martha being the elder, Martha being the elder in the family, she had to uh, host Jesus, hence uh, she got into doing every other work needed to keep the house clean, as well as uh, probably probably preparing a meal for Jesus. And she got um, fascinated with uh, doing the things of uh, hospitality to take care of the guest. But Mary, but Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. She just sat at the feet of Jesus and started listening to all that he has got to say. And that's when Martha was actually agitated. You know, this happens at home, you know. Sometimes when the wife does all the housework and the husband sits and relaxes, she gets agitated. Sometimes when the husband goes around, does a lot of things, the wife sits at home, the husband gets agitated. So likewise, Martha on that day got very agitated. She got agitated because the sister was doing nothing but just sitting and listening to Jesus. But she had to bear all the responsibilities at home to do whatever chores at home on that day. And she comes with a long list of complaints to Jesus. The Bible says beautifully in verse 21, this was the reply of Jesus. But the Lord answered Martha, 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 you are anxious and troubled about many things. But one thing is necessary. Let me repeat that. This was the words of Jesus. This was the words of Jesus. But one thing is necessary. It's in a singular form. Jesus is being very specific. And uh, Luke, when he writes it, is in very specifically. There's only one thing is necessary from God's perspective. And Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. What is the one thing that was necessary that Mary was doing? It's written in verse 39. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. She sat at the feet of Jesus and she listened to to his teaching and Jesus says that is the one thing that is necessary of everyone who wants to follow him amen today we will live in a postmodern world where actions and activities uh, seems to um, projects our spirituality but let me bring us back to the scripture it was never ministry that God looked at it was never the miracles that we performed in Jesus' name that he looked at. 
It was never the sacrifices that we did that God was so concerned about. But it was the communion. It was the relationship. It was the time spent at the master's feet that matters the most. That's what Jesus says. There is one thing necessary and she has known the good portion that is sitting at the feet of the master and listening to him. Friends, may I recommend to all of us, take this time, this precious, precious time. I'm telling you, this is a very precious season for the children of God. I don't know about the world, the rest of the world, how do they spend their time? But for the community of believers, this time is too precious because we are not going to have this season uh, one more time, probably. We will not have it anymore. But this is a perfect time for us to spend the time at the feet of the Master. Pastor, how do I just spend the time with Him? Just sit in His presence. Just be with Him. Just be with Him. At times you can't pray. Sometimes you may not even be able to read and read, read and read the Bible. But just sit quietly in His presence. In a meditative thought. Just keep the scriptures open. Read them and think about, ponder about those words again and again. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. The Lord Jesus Christ, if you would quickly turn your Bible with me uh, to Mark chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. This talks about Jesus Christ appointing the twelve, appointing the disciples. And verse 14 says, And he appointed the twelve who he also named apostles. Listen carefully. So that they might be with him. I repeat that. He appointed the twelve so that they might be with him. And secondly, he might send them out to preach. Thirdly, and have authority to cast out demons. Then it says, goes on, he appointed the twelve. Friends, the primary purpose of Jesus appointing the twelve wasn't for ministry, but was to be with him. It was to catch whatever he had to say. Today, friends, let's be uh, reminded of our primary call to be with Jesus, to be at the feet of the Master. The Lord wants each of us to be with him. To be with him that's the primary call it's not about this ministry of preaching it's not about this ministry of going out and demon casting it is not about the ministry of giving to the poor which all comes as a secondary ministry but primary ministry that the lord expects of each of his children is to be with him that is why jesus said to martha she has done what is necessary and the necessary thing was to sit, is to sit at the feet of the master and listen to him. Friends, times are very challenging. And yet, these times give us a lot of room to spend time with God. Make use of this time to spend quality time at the feet of the master. You know, at times in my own journey with the Lord, there are times that no mere words to express in prayer. I just feel so blurred that my mind is so tired that I can't read the Bible. But God says in Psalms 46 and 10, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Amen. He don't need to prove anything that he is with us. Emmanuel, God with us. We just need to be still. Just be still at the feet of the Master. And enjoy this communion. Enjoy this relationship. Enjoy this precious moment with the Lord. Resting at the feet of the Master. I bless all of you that even as you begin this day, you will begin it right as Mary sat at the feet of the Lord. Let's take time to sit at his feet as individuals, as families, and restore the days and times that we have lost running around for this world and in this world. God bless you and God prosper you.